Hey guys! So in this video, Oscar and I decided to show you guys um, we're kind of going back to our old roots with this one. I know. Um, we're showing you guys like an in-depth makeup routine. So how we do our everyday makeup. Um, you guys probably see this look all, all the time on all of our posts. But um, <laughs> we want to show you guys like what products we use and stuff. Yes. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the video and well, let's get on with it. Thank you Shein for sponsoring this video. We're going to do a quick little try and haul for you guys because we got some new Shein clothes we want to show you guys. Yes, and this time we're going to be showing you specifically from their Motif collection, which is all super high-end quality pieces that are also affordable and they're very, very like warm Great and for cozy fall. vibes. Yeah, yeah they're really good fall, fall vibes. And um, yeah, and just remember that if you do use code Neon Twins on the Shein site, you can receive 15%? Mm -hmm. Yes, 15% off of your entire purchase. So go, go, go. Make sure you go do that. And all the pieces that we do show will be linked down below. So you can go shop some of them if you guys like yes. them. And yeah, let's get started. So for my first piece from the Motif collection, I have this plain black sweater. And you know, black usually goes with everything. And it's super, super cozy. It's really thick, which I love. The quality is amazing. Super simple. You can wear it with jeans, you can wear it with anything. Dress it down and up. Just a plain black sweater. I love it. Okay, so the first piece that I'm showing you guys is actually two together. So I feel like um, cardigans kind of fell out of style for a little bit, but then now they're coming back. I don't know, I just grew up wearing cardigans all the time. So this one's super cute and the pattern is really, really adorable. And then I just paired it with a plain black little um, skinny strap top and I don't know, I just feel very like mm, put together, very tall in this, but yeah, that's my first one. For my second piece, I have this cream long sleeve top with this little crossover in the front, which I think is so cute. I like, you know, love to be super, super cozy when I go out, especially like if you're going to dinner, you know, sometimes it's really chilly and cold, especially during fall and winter time. So this shirt is actually a lot thicker than it looks. Like, you know what I mean? Like yeah. you felt it before. It is actually such good material and it's really, really thick. And yeah, so if you're ever going out and you want to wear something that's really cozy, but also kind of dressed up, this is literally perfect. And while I'm at it, I'm actually going to show another piece with you guys to go with this top. I have this really, really long trench coat. If you guys know me and Aisha, we're from New York. We love our trench coats. We have like way too, too many. many, way too many, but I have none in this like brown color. So this is literally perfect. You can wear it with some nice like tall boots and it just always makes an outfit look a lot more expensive, if that makes sense, when you put like a really nice coat. And yeah, I just love it. Super thick and the color is something I don't have. So I was just like obsessed with it. Next one um, is a risky one. I usually stay away from white jeans, but I couldn't help this one. These buttons are so, and the detail on it is just so nice in real life. I don't know if you can tell through the camera, but um, I also just paired it with this, what would you call this, like a nude? Yeah, like a nude brown top. A nudish brown top. Um, it went really well with the jeans because it's kind of like a little bit of an off-white in real life. You can see it's like got like a little tint to it, but um, super flattering, super cute. Once again, um, fall vibes are just immaculate and I love it. So this next one makes me kind of feel like a spy, <laughs> but I love it. Um, I also, as well as like long trench coats, I love like crop jackets. So it really shows like whatever pants you're wearing or like a cute shirt. This one I thought was really cute, like all buttoned up. And I think it's also just like great for fall. And I think if you even add a belt to it, it would even make it like a shirt, if that makes sense, because it's kind of thin. But yeah, it's just like a little crop jacket and it's more like a yellowish nude. Um, I definitely don't have anything in this color, which I think is so cute. And I really, really love the buckles around the wrist and the back of it. Like it has this little flap. Yeah, I just thought it was so cute. So as most of y'all know, like Oswald said, she likes her trench coats because we just have that New York fashion to us. We also both have this obsession with like pantsuits or dress suit, uh, like, I don't know, dress pants? Yeah. Yeah, and this one we're just calling my name on the site. Once again, they're like really flattering because they're bell bottoms, so it gives you a nice figure. Um, plain black, once again, you can wear it fitted top of sweater and the vibe with this pants are just... And you could just do so much with the shoes. You could, like. you could literally dress this up, dress it down. It's just, you could go so many ways with it. This was my favorite. That is the end of our Shein try and haul. We hope you guys liked it. Again, Motif, their collection is amazing. Everything is so like, Luxurious, if that yes. makes sense, but it's so affordable and the quality is just so good. And also remember that after ordering, you have a 45 day return policy, and they also offer uh, free shipping if your order is $49 or over. So make sure that you take note of that when you're ordering. And yeah, we love you guys so much, and we'll go on with the video. All right, so I'm still doing with my eyebrows. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz that I used to fill my brows in. 
And I'm also starting off with brows, but I'm using um, Benefit Cabrow, and it's like a dip, which I haven't used these in a minute, but I started to again, and I actually really like it, so. Sometimes I like to do the um, that feather soap brow look. Sometimes I don't, sometimes it's just, it's a lot of work to wait for it to like dry and stuff. I've tried doing it, it's just not my vibe. We actually get a lot of y'all asking about like our makeup routines and stuff like that. So that's why we're deciding to make a dedicated video on it, so you guys can actually see. There's this one, um, hack that I was actually taught and it's to like okay so my eyebrow is like end like right above my eye so I have like a lot of space between my eyebrows but a hack that I was taught is that to bring your eyebrows closer together to make your nose like look smaller I don't know I think it works I've been doing it but I feel like we're going back to our old roots with this I know doing YouTube finish the brows next I clean them up using the RCMA makeup little palette. It's the, I don't even know what palette's called, but it has the shades one, two, three, four, and five. So one, five. And I just use the lightest and the second one to clean them up. I feel like my makeup routine changes like every season, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like unintentionally, I'll just start doing things like every single, like, like a few times a year. It's funny though, because I always notice a difference when I go back to like old videos and oh, stuff. And I'm like, oh, I used to do this with this, and that's why I look like that. Yeah. And I'm like, then sometimes when I watch old things, I go back to like old uh, routines that I used to do. Same. Because I like, like my makeup looks. back then. Cleaning up is the most satisfying part. I feel like. I hate cleaning up. I love. Next, I'm using this new thing that I've been like in love with, and it is the Color Foundation by. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Custom Color Cosmetics. And this is in the shade Chinese One. It looks like this. It's just like a little, it's really, um, makes your skin kind of oily, but the coverage. But I, isn't that one too dark? No. The most annoying thing though, is that from summer to winter, we both like lose our tan like a lot. And we end up changing like foundation colors like every two weeks. Literally, it happens so fast. It happens so fast, so. And it's not like a, but it's not like, from tan to not tan, it's like a gradual thing also at the same time because like we just go through multiple different shades of like That's why my foundation. foundations are like I have to mix like a hundred colors to get to my right color Every single day, like day is like different Yeah, because not only that, when I bought all my foundations, I'm stupid I bought it in the summer, like I was trying out a bunch of new new ones and now all of my favorites are like so dark so I have to mix it with like light concealers or like random things like that next after i put that cream foundation on i will go in with the makeup forever ultra hd in the color i never know what color they are i think this is five foundation that i'm using is face atelier oh they're really and nice. all i'm gonna say is makeup by ariel beat my face amazing that i was like you have to tell me what products you use and he used this foundation well he used a bunch of other ones too but this one like really um, stuck out. Yeah, so I went and bought it and um, Very happy with it. It's like not super full coverage, but when you like layer it with other stuff It gives a beautiful finish now I'm gonna go with concealer which if you guys have been following us for a while You know, I never use concealer ever, but I just started to past few months and I only put a little bit on but we just changed the lighting up a little bit, so sorry about that. I'm doing a very light makeup today just because I don't feel like going super heavy. After doing a really thin coat, I'm gonna go in with some concealer as well. Um, after I put my concealer on, I will go in with my Anastasia, no, it's not Anastasia, it's Hourglass Cream Contour, and I will just contour before I blend my concealer in. I used to never be a fan of cream products because I used to have really dry skin, but I feel like I have more normal skin now, or I'm just using a really good moisturizer. That helps. And then it could be that, yeah. Contour. My biggest issue right now with my makeup is I don't have enough brushes. <laughs> and I would just use the same brush for like four different steps of my makeup. Anyway, on to more boring, not boring, but other things. We've been almost in this house for two months, which is honestly crazy, crazy to, think about because to think about. That means we're a sixth double with a year. Like what? <laughs> but um, I will say, guys, we have something very exciting we want to talk about. Um, drum roll, please. Going on, on tour. tour. And if you guys haven't got your tickets yet, uh, they're going, so you better go grab some. And if you don't know much about it, we'll give you a quick little rundown. Basically, myself, Osra, Nate, and Markel will be stopping by four cities. Um, many more to come, so don't worry if you're if it's not near yes. one of your city. Uh, also, wherever, wherever you I'm are. Put you off really quick. Next, I'm going with powder, and this is the Laura Mercier, but this isn't the translucent. This is the translucent honey. 
so oh. keep going. Nice. Anyway, um, what will we be doing on tour, you ask? You probably didn't ask, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. Um, we're gonna be doing many things. One of them will be exposing each other. We like a little Q&A segment where we just get to expose each other as roommates from when we used to all live together. Um, because Markel doesn't live with us anymore, but um, we'll be able to expose each other, play fun little games that will interact with you guys. And the four cities we're going to, um, to start off, will be LA, uh, San Francisco, New York, and- Brooklyn, specifically. Yeah, Brooklyn, and- um, Philadelphia. Philadelphia. So, if it's mm. near you, or it's close enough, and you guys are willing to take a drive out there, um, yeah, all I'm gonna say is we would be- be very excited to meet all of you. I've honestly been just talking about this with, I think, Markel the other day. Um, we were actually having our friends giving and the whole compound was here and we were just like, dang, like the compound feels like it never happened. Like, yeah, like now, like, like, that, now that it never happened. Yeah, it's so strange how like, just- It's just memories. It's just memories now. So it's like, even when I think about the house itself, I'm like, why can't I even like picture myself walking in it? Like, Me too. It's, it's hard to like, thing. yeah, it's a very weird thing to like think about or feel. So, um, I will say though, we are now living in West Hollywood West Hollywood um, versus Calabasas, which is where we used to stay. Yeah, so we're definitely closer to everything, which I definitely love. I love the location for sure, but I do miss being like in the valley. Like, I don't know why I personally really like that. Like, I like being separated a little bit and like being so much in L like in LA, like we're in this heart of LA. Yeah, this is like actual LA, I feel like. It's very, it could be very toxic and you see like the, the crazy sides of LA that people always talk about. Yeah, at first we never really saw much of that because in um, Calabasas you have to drive. Yeah, we, so we didn't really go much. We honestly, when we were living there, we didn't leave the house much. No, we didn't. And when we did, it was like we kind of planned our entire week around it. Like, oh, we're going to dinner this day, like in, you know, wherever, which is closer to like West Hollywood or whatever. Yeah. So it was like, anytime we did go, we'd like plan Kill it and kind of just have like, like, yeah, a plan. Yeah. But now that we're around it, it's kind of crazy to see like what's normal around here. So weird. Which is strange. I just finished um, using powder contour after I just set my face with that powder and I used the Fenty Beauty in Caramel Cutie and I just put that on my cheekbones and my forehead and my nose. And then I go in with blush. And guys, this blush is actually the best thing ever. It's Chanel in the color Rose Initial, number 72. Next, I'm just using um, the Hula Bronzer in Caramel. And I just use that as my eyeshadow. <laughs> I think a lot of girls do that. I'm going into my eyeshadow, but I'm um, not using the one that Alzer used. I'm using the Fenty Beauty, the one that I use for my contour. I'm just gonna put that on my lids. Next, I'm going to go in with the I Am palette. Is this Becky G's palette? I think. I could be wrong, but I just use the black color, and that's what I do my liner with. I use eyeshadow, I don't use real liner. eyeliner. See, there are some things that we do different, and that's one of them. I use an actual eyeliner pencil, but I don't think I'm gonna do it today. My makeup looks really good in this lighting. I'm hoping it's showing up on camera just as nice because this is nice. Mm, look very subtle wing, very subtle. Um, next is my favorite part, mascara. Oh, and I'm just like, you know, I'm lining my uh, upper waterline. Upper water, upper waterline? <laughs> my lash line. The best mascara on planet Earth, using that next, which is just the last sensational by Maybelline. I'm also baking under my contour. It's looking a little bit dragged. I would never use that word. I literally would never use that word either, and I don't know why I just said it. I think I'm done. I just gotta slightly bake and then add a little bit of bottom mascara, I think. And the eyelashes. And then I'll basically be finito. Where is the baking powder? So right now I'm going in with this stuff is like a lifesaver. Um, the flawless finish, the airbrush flawless finish um, pressed powder by Charlotte Tilbury in the shade two, and it's a brightening powder. It's a an incredible brightening powder, and like it's great for like touching up too throughout the day. If you just have this in your bag, like your makeup will look fresh every second. I'm just putting this under my eyes and around my nose, just where would I, anywhere I put my own concealer to brighten it. I'm gonna take um, this little palette. It's the Away Every Day shadow palette, and I'm just gonna use the brown, the light brown color, and put it under my waterline. All right, I think I'm basically finished. I just need a lip product to put on. I kinda want a little more blush, so we're just gonna add a little bit. This is how it's going so far. Again, my everyday routine. I usually do a little faster than this, but I've been talking, so. Next, I'm gonna line my lips, and I'm gonna be using the KKW Beauty in the color Nude 2 to line them, and then I use Citizen Cosmetics in the color 09 Fez, and I just use this 
and I just put it right in the middle. So I'm gonna line my lips. I don't know if any of you guys have seen the video of Makeup by Mario showing how he lines lips to make it look bigger. I realized I was overlining wrong my entire life. So you're not supposed to overline on the sides, only the top and bottom, because that's what's gonna give the effect of like pocket full lip. So you have to like kind of go in on the sides rather than filling it like to its exact line. And then to set my makeup, I ran out of my favorite makeup setter. So I'm gonna just go in with the professional. That one's really good too. It's also really good, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I only use the Urban Decay um, matte. So I'm gonna like, put it on this puffer, which I really like doing. And then, so all I did was blend out that liner. So much on. Mm -hmm. And we saw oh, it's funny, we both finish around the same time. So hopefully you guys enjoyed our make routine. Um, I feel like this is like a long time coming for us. I know, ladies. everyone's been asking about it for some Yeah, we always do like brief ones on TikTok, but we never do like an in-depth one. So hopefully you guys enjoy yes. it. And make sure that um, once again, um, with the she and stuff, you guys can click down below to check out all the products that we mentioned in this video. And um, we'll see you guys in our next video. We love you guys so yes. much. Yes, love you. Thanks for watching.